I like it. Okay, so earlier this season, we found ourselves in the middle of one of the most debated topics oh. of the 2000s, Backstreet Boys versus NSYNC. Who? Okay. Oh! oh. You might have answered my next question. Did you and the rest of the guys get involved in the competition yourselves? Or were you all actually just friends? Well, it's always a friendly competition for me because okay. I like to bust chops. That's, yeah. that's my most favorite thing to do. <laughs> Especially with Nick. Obviously, Nick Carter and AJ, the guys from Backstreet. Mm -hmm. I, I've known them for so many years now. I mean, gosh, we both, all of us started actually in Orlando as far as yeah. anything yeah. is concerned. So there's always that, that fun rivalry when we were younger, but they always kept us apart. But now I even go a little bit further because I'm always like, oh, yeah, they're on tour because they need the money and this and that. Oh! So, oh! These are the jokes, people. These are the jokes. These are the jokes. Because I got this whole backstreet army like, how dare you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we did a joke where yeah. literally there was a part where I had my pockets empty and he was handing me five bucks. Oh, oh, so these are the jokes yeah. that we do and yeah. people take it so, so seriously. Jeez. Well, you know what? If NSYNC, <laughs> if they were, if NSYNC was making music today, do you think it would be as successful as when you guys were making it back then? You know what, it, it's, it's hard to say in that sense because of course it's a different generation. Of course though, we do have a lot of fans, so thank everybody that's still yeah. listening. Yes. I, I jam! Ain't nothing wrong Every with that. Every time May comes okay. around, it's gonna be May. <laughs> But it's always that thing you just never know because now, especially back in the day, we didn't have social media either. Mm -hmm. So we yeah. have to, you know, kind of, it's almost like I think a little bit start from scratch, but I know that we definitely would have a lot of followers because, of course, seeing Backstreet, seeing new kids and all yeah. the people out on tour, you see that there is something out there for and it's sure. something special, especially for us because we haven't done thing in many years and we're still being talked about, which is obviously because yeah. of all you guys. Yeah, we love you guys. Yeah, exactly. we love you guys. You're awesome. Well, check this out. Big news last April. You guys actually got honored on the Walk of Fame with Woo! your own yes. Hollywood star. Crazy. Major. So yes. tell us, what was it like getting all the dudes together? You know what? It was amazing because it was one of those things where we're just like, all right, you know, it's literally the ceremony is like 30 minutes, whatever. Yeah, wow. there's our ugly wow. mugs right there. <laughs> and uh, we, we basically, I, I didn't really realize what of it uh, really an impact it is. When yeah. we came out and the streets were completely blocked and there was people beyond people and it was a seven hour wait for like the, the, the pop-up thing that we had mm -hmm. and it was amazing. One of the things for me that was really cool I thought was my daughter's got a chance to see this wow. because my older one's 17, my other one is Whoa. eight. So my eight year old oh. really never got a chance to see anything like yeah. that. So for her to see that, it was just like, this is kind of weird. And I'm like, okay, this is actually what daddy used to do. And he's like, mm -hmm. why are all these people screaming your name? Come <laughs> on over here, you two love oh, yeah. She's so cute. Craziest thing you've ever done, Lauren. Lauren, you first. Yeah. Okay. Three months after we met, I got his initials tattooed on the back of my neck. Th oh. Three months? Oh, wow. Oh, Nick, you put it down. I tried. Wow. Wow. Yes, I enjoyed that. <laughs> what about you, crazy? Nick? Yeah. For me, um, honestly, getting married. Oh. I was crazy in love with her. Oh, that's oh, nice. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. so. Well, we want to know everything, okay? <laughs> so first off, how did you guys meet? Yeah, actually, my sister, um, they, she had known uh, about Lauren for quite some time. They kept telling me about her. Like, you need to meet this girl. Mm -hmm. She's really cool. She plays video games. She works <laughs> out, <laughs> you know? And I'm like, well, when am I going to meet this girl? And then they were telling me, you got to meet this guy. He's super hot. He's a backstreet boy. You're right. And I was like, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> rock background, like okay. heavy metal girl, yeah. a, a very eclectic music, but boy bands was not my forte. Yeah. And, and that's I why like, I loved her. Uh -uh. That's, I was like, this is match made that. in heaven. Yeah. What yeah. time was your <laughs> date? That's what I want to know. What time was the date? Bonnie! If, if, if we were going by her standards, it would have been a booty call, because I came mm -hmm. around 10. Yes! What? Oh my god, 10 yes! date? Uh, oh. yeah. But it turned out great. It was a, a long-lasting booty call. <laughs> oh my god! What you mean, long lasting booty call? You saying y'all did it on the first night? And no. Then y <laughs> I made him wait a few months. Yeah. Good for you. I mean, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. either way, it's all right. Either way, either way. Either way. No. So, Lauren, no. that's right. Lauren, that's on beautiful. that note, even though you weren't really into a Backstreet Boy, what was it like dating one of America's biggest heartthrobs? Um, I didn't see him like that, okay. and I didn't get it. <laughs> Somebody so decided. when people would treat him that way, I was like, damn, for real? Uh -huh. <laughs> like oh. that? Like, people would come up to him and ask him for autographs and want to take pictures, and I'm like, what? Really? 
I didn't, it was foreign to me. It was crazy. Wow. The last time we saw the entire group together was 2017, when New Edition received a star on the Walk of Fame. Will there be another reunion soon? We need you guys back. Will there be a reunion? Let us know. Well, you know, it's not even going to be a reunion. It's it's just yeah. we're happy to say that uh, we've done 30 some years and we've always had our issues and battles. Everyone knows if your siblings have friends, we go through ups and downs. But God has kept us here over 30 something plus years. That's why we've been able to get through the process of doing what we do. Yes, there would absolutely be. Uh, a new addition. It won't be a reunion because it's all six of us coming back strong, but it's just going to be, as it has always been, it's just going to be new addition. And um, we're ready to rock. We're just looking at some things and we might, you're going to probably hear from us sooner than later, very soon, hopefully. Oh, Ooh, that's good. some good news. We'll take you however we can get you. Um, Johnny, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you say that one day we might even see new addition on tour with another group of guys from Boston. I know who I'm thinking of, do tell. New kids on the block. Let me tell you, we love those guys and, wow. and cheese, which his name is Donnie Wahlberg, but that's my twin. We call each other twins. We've all been talking uh, for years about trying to uh, get together and do something and maybe tour uh, together. And I and, and, and I think that's gonna happen uh, at some point. So, so we've dope. been really uh, uh, pushing that and hoping that at some point we're gonna pull it together for a new edition of new kids. I think people would love that. I'm gonna throw a memory word back from back there, Lance. What was the wackest fashion oh my God. look oh, you've ever had? Yeah, well, I hate to say this in front of you because you're like Miss Fashion. I want to know. Uh, but we had the worst fashion. I mean, I don't know why they didn't tell us NSYNC boys how to dress back then, but... Keep it 100. Uh, it I don't terrible. think us girls just uh, agree with that. I think no, we were fans my, of what you had on. I did, there is one outfit, though. Wait, 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 wait. Let's oh, yeah. see if our minds can sync, okay? Because okay, I love some of your I've, I've said this too. a couple times, but it was American Music Awards, I think, 1999. Oh, I got okay. you. Could it be this outfit oh, right gosh, here? You have this picture. Yes, that's it. The turtleneck. Oh my gosh. Yes. How so awful great. is that? The oversized jacket, I mean, the raincoat. What was over the turtleneck? So much. It was probably pleather, I guess. Um, uh, but I remember Joan Rivers gave us most waterproof that night on the red carpet. Yeah. You and 98 Degrees just released your new Christmas album. I love Christmas. Yes. Yay! And you're actually going to be going on tour. But I have to ask, has touring changed now that like you and most of the bandmates are like married and have kids? Y'all ain't got no groupies. <laughs> well, look, touring different. Let's be back. Uh, back in the day, touring was a little different. Yeah. We were young. We were full of energy and vigor. Uh -huh. There were a lot of girls running around. <laughs> um, now touring, it's it's really we're all family guys, and 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 honestly, it's 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 in some ways much more fun now yes. than it ever was back in the day. Because I think we have an appreciation for the fact that 20 years later we still get to do this, yeah. wow. and yeah, our blessing. fans still come out yeah. Yeah. And, and support us, and so. Yeah, the opportunity to be out there doing it and still making music together. Um, I think we, we're very, you know, very appreciative of the opportunity.